thank you because I know and love the best people. I thank you for always being so selfless, so thoughtful, and yet so animated and full of character. I thank you for your entertaining ridicule and your colorful insults in Chinese. Whereas most would take them personal, I thank you for the tough love, because I know that when you scream at me for being stupid and irresponsible, like when I forget to bring my toothbrush on vacation, it's out of true love and care. I even thank you for your nitpickiness, like when you criticize me for having a girlfriend that's one inch too short for your normal standards. And most of all, I thank you for doing things you hate, like changing my diapers until I was five. Just because you care, not that you actually had to. You're still the same powerful woman that to this day remarks on my posture and on what time I should go come home, that to this day comes into my room in the middle of the night to make sure that I am covered by a blanket. You haven't changed as a mother. You've always been supportive and told me that no matter where I choose to go, whether it's as close to home as Berkeley or as far away as Chicago, you said, I just want you to be happy. I am happy, Mom. Because I, because I can celebrate you and all the amazing people I know whose mothers had as big of an impact as you had on me. Your character and individual qualities is not what sets you apart, but your determination to keep this family together throughout all these years is what amazes me the most. I've seen your tears of sadness, anger, and frustration, yet they've never swayed you once, nor did you let them influence me. You and Dad have done so much for this family than I would wish to express. You might think that he sacrificed his family to pursue his career abroad. I don't necessarily blame him for that with the way I see it. Maybe it wasn't him. Maybe you had to sacrifice a part of your marriage just to take care of me. Understanding that alone has made it hard for me to express my true feelings because I feel like there's nothing I can say or do to thank you enough. Even though Dad hasn't been home much in the last couple of years, you still haven't changed as a mother. You still find a way to make every single one of my hundreds of basketball games. And even when you have no clue what's happening on the court, you're still cheering the loudest out of any other parent on the bleachers, wanting to be a part of everything I do. In the last 18 years, you've done everything you could to prepare me for these next four years, potentially one of, potentially one of the biggest transitions of my life. I wish I could bring you to college, like I wished in kindergarten when you dropped me off on the first day at Alto Soul Christian School. I cried. While all the other kids enjoyed their time away from their moms, I just cried. But I can't anymore. I'm leaving for Chicago after this summer, but it doesn't mean that I want to get away from home or get away from you, because I know I'll come back and help as, as much as possible. And I know when I come back that you still won't have changed as a mother, someone who's loving, caring, and passionate. However, I have changed and still will change. But one thing is for sure. There will never be another woman in my life that I'll love and cherish more than you. Happy birthday, Mom.